Well, all right. <laughs> Welcome back to the early edition. Yeah, of, love it. Of yeah. the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Bright eyed and uh, starry. I don't know. What, what's the phrase? I don't even know. Yeah. Bushy tailed. Oh, yeah. Bushy-tailed. bushy tailed and bright eyed. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, good morning. Good morning to Eugene. Good morning. Ah. Uh, you... I'm, not, I'm not driving from Green Bay, uh, sadly. I'm driving from Dubuque because I had to go to the dump. Have you been to the dump ever, the city dump? <laughs> well, in the, the, the Dubuque city dump? Yeah, my yeah. Fa- my family went there for uh, summer vacation one time. Yeah, we spent okay. six weeks there. It's uh, it's on the way to Field of Dreams. It's real close <laughs> to Field of Dreams. Um, it was yeah, Field of Dreams for a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Field of Dreams is so beautiful. Uh, I yeah, we're we're converting our house. The house I own here is going to be an Airbnb. So uh, we have our first customers tomorrow, and we have to get it ready. So 400 pounds of trash coming up. I mean, <laughs> stuff. Should, trash. shouldn't it's you clean? Stuff. Shouldn't you clean the trash before you put it on Airbnb? Isn't that how you do it? Hey, listen. I mean, it was just like old oh, that guy. I had been in there eight years, and I never met him. I've been in the house. He had a lot of stuff he left behind. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did he die, or did he uh, move away? No, oh, he's on the run from the law. We. That's what we assume, because he left everything behind. And uh, uh, he didn't pay rent the last three months, or what? He paid somehow, but he left every, all his clothes, even his clothes. He had the new tags on the. Yeah, he left everything. Oh, so he left in a, Gene, the he only left, <laughs> he probably stole those clothes, Gene. Yeah. Well, we had, I to be safe, we changed all the locks. So <laughs> me and my Don, me and my sister Don are are running it. So uh, a lot of work uh, opening up a new business, but it's very exciting. Yeah, so, and Gene, you can advertise on Airbnb, the uh, home of the former Leaf. Yes, I believe uh, my sister's using that. Yeah, <laughs> she, she's our marketing guru. She, and uh, we have a, we have a guy tomorrow. Then we have a family next week for five days. So. Yeah. All right, there you go. Right the Make, river. Making some money. Making some money. 20-minute drive to uh, feel the dreams. That's what we play up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. You, and you can... I'll only have a, a three-hour drive to Green Bay, where, unfortunately, I wasn't last night. Yeah, you, you can uh, to... share a bed with Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. And, and you should also advertise uh, all the uh, highway uh, traps uh, on the way to Green Bay. Just have them uh, oh. marked. Yeah, in the construction. Madison, yeah, for years, I don't think it'll ever be out of construction. Yep. But it's making uh, yeah. it's making Illinois look like the uh, center of efficiency. Madison yeah. is, Gene. Oh, Illinois. All right. I have three. Yeah. All right. So, well, Gene, this is the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, my name is Chris Dodson. That's Gene Steichen. And, uh, Gene, remember back in the day when yeah. you're getting ready for school, and I don't think Sports Center was around in your time, though, but uh, more, I remember getting my cereal, getting ready for the day, drinking my Nas, just like that. Yeah. And uh, watching uh, Monday Night Football highlights in the morning on Sports Center the next morning. Yep. Yep. And now here we are. We're doing a podcast, our own podcast, uh, on Tuesday morning. Pretty exciting yeah. stuff. Really great. The world changes like an instant, Gene. You blink, I'm, and all of a sudden you're hosting a uh, podcast in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feel like Dan Patrick over here. All right. Pretty great. Pretty great. Because it it started out for a tough weekend. Because I was at the Iowa game Saturday, and uh, oh. All right, well, Gene, let's let's go through your uh, trip. So you you went back specifically uh, specifically for Iowa versus Penn State, right? It just happened. We had a reunion, and I uh, see my mom, of course. I took my mom to the game, and it was great. Very cold though. But, oh yeah, yeah. It it got down to forty something. It was pretty cold. Oh wow! Maybe. And then we lost to Penn State again. It was on national TV. That was a bummer. But, uh, but yeah, I did that. And then, uh, then we, as it turns out, we have to get our house ready for Airbnb, which is a pretty big project. Yeah, sure. Parents. It's just like uh, presenting it for yeah, like a new house. I, I already had a hotel room. I was going to pay Motel 6, I think, $200 to stay in their crappy uh, motel in Green Bay. 
and then I I had to cancel because we weren't done here. So oh, yeah. So you forego you foregone the Packer game because yeah. of Airbnb. I, I had to cancel Sunday. Man, and what a game. Oh, my gosh. That would have made up for the crappy Iowa game. Hey, but d- may I give a shout-out to the Badgers? Pretty good. Very good. 6-0 yeah. and, and, and rank number six. Like, I care mm-hmm. about college football. Like, I care. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> in a couple weeks. All right. Weeks. And then, so did you actually check on how much tickets would be? Yeah, they were. They actually dropped. Monday Night Football, I think you could get a Green Bay ticket unless they went up late in the afternoon. But you could have got it for uh, the cheapest tickets were going for less than a hundred. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, like eighty. Yeah, because you know it's a Monday night, which makes it tough. Because uh, people drive so far to go to Green Bay, it's it's a that team. It, the whole state of Wisconsin comes from over. So, and then it was very cold too. Oof. Was, was it pretty cold? I think uh, last night in Green Bay got down to about thirty nine or forty. Ooh. Ooh, we are we're definitely in fall. But they, 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 the Wisconsin people, they got a lot of layers. I, it's harder <laughs> for me. You can't, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, Gene, should we uh, should we talk about that game? Detroit at Green Bay, Monday Night Football? Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Gene, we were going to do a show right after the, uh, it's easy to say that. Oh, yeah, let's do a show after the football game. But then after a couple of beers and uh, maybe some other uh, ingestion of other things. Um, me but it was late yeah yeah did you did you actually watch the whole game or did you fall asleep i did i made it to the end i mean it's amazing the time zone i mean obviously everything's two hours later here but man i'm not 11 o'clock for me is pretty late yeah well i'll tell you what you're two hours ahead but then as soon as it gets dark you're like uh it's it's over it's your kikadian rhythm messes up And and then the iowa game was a night game and my goodness, it was cold and dark, and we lost. And then I had to drive back to Dubuque after the game. I had to bring my parents, so I didn't get back to after uh, uh, midnight. Wow! But yeah, nice yeah. vacation, huh? Staying up all hours of the night. And then I had to get up this morning at six thirty, and uh, haul four hundred pounds of trash to the dump. <laughs> Very glamorous. <laughs> Big Hollywood star Gene, uh, getting it done, getting it. Brings you back to your roots, though, right? You know, it was pretty cool because I haven't been to the dump since I was a kid. But yeah, <laughs> doing some, I, I did a lot of manual labor yesterday, and I'm not used to that, and I don't want to do it anymore now. Now that we're done, are you all, are you all sore from the manual labor? Too much, too much for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you when you feel that soreness in your muscles the next day, I think it's all worth it because you feel well, alive. Yep. Yeah. But we, I did, I did survive the whole game. And I felt good, even though Detroit was really and, and shout out to Kelly Stafford, huh? She's pretty cool. Well, Gene, we'll we'll talk about Kelly Stafford here oh, okay. in a, in a minute. But let's do this okay. chronologically, uh, starting with the beginning of the game, sure. where uh, Adam Schefter, you know, you know Shefty, Adam Schefter, yeah, is bra- yes, bra- breaking all these uh, uh, news stories on uh, on NFL Twitter. Yeah, always has the uh, br- late breaking news. Yep. Well, uh, he tweeted out, attempting the Lambo Leap on Monday Night Countdown tonight. What will be the end result? And he had a uh, Twitter poll on that. Wow. No chance. That, that I think it's a six-foot wall. No chance for Schefter. Yeah, he's, he's probably a small guy, right, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah. And exactly uh, Mark Schlereth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, uh, Gene, you know, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Cousin Sal was doing this bit yep. and all yep. this stuff. And now we, now we got Schefter. <laughs> Thro- throwing his uh, fat ass up on uh, the Lambo Leap. Yeah. Don't these people realize that the Lambo Leap is sacred? <laughs> yeah. And it's only it's only reserved for people that score a touchdown in a National Football League game in Lambo right. Field. Yeah. Mason Crosby even got to do it last night. Yeah. But yeah. 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 So, what, yeah. Chef- Chefter? You break news on Twitter and you think you can jump up on the uh, Lambo? I'm Leap. saying I think Cousin Sal had to get help to get up there. So I don't think Schefter could have done Schefter would have had a better chance, but I don't think he could do it. Well, it's tough <laughs> when you got Roger Goodell's dick in your mouth, <laughs> Schefter. Wow, that's All right. morning saying that. Uh, it's too early. <laughs> too early in the morning to be talking like that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, come on. Let, let's have some respect 
for Lambeau right. Field, the hollowed uh, grandstands of Lambeau Field. Right, right. Who was the? Was it Leroy Butler who was the first guy that did it? Who, who was the guy that did it? Right? What? It's amazing that that tradition. It's one of the greatest in sports for sure. Yep, for sure, and it's organic too, right? Nothing, yeah, none yeah. of this, none yeah. of these uh, presidents running around the field. You know, the sausage race, none of that crap. It's yep, uh, it's, yep. it's 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 when you score a touchdown, you jump up. Yep, and All the right. adrenaline gets you over that wall because that's a big jump. Yep, yep. All right, and then uh, one other thing before we get to the actual game. I don't know if you saw this, uh, but during the commercials, they're advertising a uh, player-owned Thanksgiving game on Lambeau Field, Thanksgiving Day. Oh, no, I didn't Did see you see that? that? No, so apparently they uh, this is a viral thing where uh, the NFL wants you to send a video of your family playing uh, touch football, and then they're going to have yeah. uh, some lucky winners uh, play on uh, Lambeau Field on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, wow. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, Gene. Why, don't, why doesn't the NFL just put a big brothel sign on Lambeau Field saying, hey, we're just going to whore this place out. <laughs> there, there's no owner to say no to this. We're just going to open up the put, – put on some red lights on the outside, letting know everyone's open for business. Come fuck Lambeau Field. Right. And, uh, you know, ejaculate all over the state of Wisconsin. Open for business, right? Open for business. Wow. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Pretty racy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gina, I got you know I got that coffee, Gene. It's uh, no more cereal, no more Lucky Charms. I got the coffee, coffee. Oh, I got, you. yeah. All right, all right, and then let's just talk about the game really quick. So uh, Detroit, uh, man, Matthew Stafford throwing those long balls in the beginning of the game. Yeah, from the first, he was good. Like, I don't even know how many yards he threw for, but he was really good, wasn't he, the whole game? Uh, I mean, in the beginning of the game, I think later on, I think the uh, defense kind of adjusted because there weren't no many long balls after that. Oh, okay. He had two early on. Yeah. And uh, you can, the thing about that is, uh, you know, it's a little bit worrisome when you see these guys getting 60, 70 yards, but uh, the football field is only 100 yards, so you still have 30 yards to go. And uh, they had they struggled on the uh, in the red zone, Gene. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Packers defense kept them in it. It was fourteen. Well, no, it was ten to thirteen right at halftime. And then the uh, second half, uh, defense held the Lions to a bunch of field goals. And then it was a Rod time. Aaron Rodgers. Wow. And uh, Gene. Uh, you know, I'm what you know. Devontae Adams has been hurt for a couple of weeks now, and then Geronimo Allison got hurt, and then you see Aaron Rodgers throwing these passes to these scrub to these people. I don't even know who the hell these guys are. These are scr- there's like no name guys. I mean, yeah, you got uh, MVS uh, Valdez Scanning. I like to call him Xen Exxon Valdez. Yeah. I mean, and then you got uh, Cur- Curway. Is it they, they they have a guy named Curway on the fucking? I don't know. And then uh, Lad- Lazard from uh, Iowa State, right? Oh, okay. La- Lazard, yeah. he was the guy that caught that uh, touchdown. I believe he's from Iowa State. You, you didn't remember that? You, you... No, because the sound was down, so I was. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that the Lazard guy who uh, had a big game. He was he's like a rookie, I guess, from Iowa State. And uh, I'll tell you what, Gene and uh, Aaron Rodgers is by you know all this talk about Tom Brady's got the rings and all this stuff. When there is two minutes left and you need to uh, have a score, yep. Is there anyone else you want underneath the center? So good, Aaron Rodgers. He's gonna get. A, even, you know he's gonna get it done. Even the interception. I know the guy probably. I don't know who, when he was on the ground. I mean, he drilled them. He got it right there, and then that guy. But uh, that was a couple of drives before. But yeah, I felt. I I really felt pretty good about uh, them going down the field, and then. I, I guess you're going to talk about the end, but I, I was very nervous about their strategy, even though it was brilliant strategy. Well, well, the final drive looked like it sputtered a couple times, but there was a couple penalties uh, yeah. on, on the Lions yeah. that helped them out, including hands to the face mask. That uh, was I, against that was, he had a sack. Wasn't then Aaron Rodgers get sacked on that play? I think yeah, it's possible, or he like threw it away or something. I think it was like third down or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the same guy, same Lions player against uh, B- Bakhtiari, I believe, or was it Beluga? I'm not quite sure. Um, I think it was Bakhtiari. 
And, uh, you know, we're hearing today, of course, we're hearing today about the Lions fans. Oh, the refs cheated us and we got screwed and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, Gene, I don't know, Gene, I, the video they showed of that guy putting, you know, because he had his hand on his shoulder. But, I mean, isn't that still holding, right, to, to grab his shoulder pads? Sure. I mean, yeah. what are we talking about? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to, like, grab the guy's shoulder pads and then push up towards his face, you know? Yeah. So just line, line, Lions fans, just you guys suck. All right, it's just just stop, stop <laughs> whining. Okay, just quit the whining. Okay, well that's kind of harsh. I mean, they're suffering today. We got to be compassionate. Well, you're the Lions. You, you guys aren't going anywhere. Okay, just realize this, right? It's the Lions. Yeah. It's it's ordained in history. And then so the uh, and then here's here's a pretty cool play. Uh, Jamal Williams, number thirty, the running back. Uh, the Lions was bas- basically let him loose to score a touchdown. I- I was surprised on both sides because it makes sense, but it's not guaranteed. I mean, you could block a field goal, but the way I didn't want the Lions to get the ball back. But then on the other hand, I was thinking, are the Packers messing with the football gods that going doing that like that? Well, Jamal down? Williams could have went, and man, that must be tough if you're a running back, especially like a rookie running back or young running back, and you see that so, yeah, end zone. So weird stuff but did you so you were good with the strategy uh that was fine I, I i thought that uh i think the packers went a little bit too conservative at the end i would rather just see him score like a touchdown yeah. i think they wanted to score because t- i'm like man i would i would I, to be honest i was like please just score because i that field goal i mean he, anything could happen well yeah and mason crosby was- you know, he's he's back on the sideline for, like, a good five minutes getting ready. I'm like, man, they're going to psych him out if they don't, like, bring him out quick, you know? Oh, my gosh. If he, if he, it was perfect. But if it wasn't, wow, that would have been a tough one. Yeah, that would have been bad. So they basically got to the I, – I mean, I think once they got to, like, the five-yard line or four-yard line, whatever it was, it was pretty much a chip shot. Um, I think it was pretty much in the bag. But, man, that that's – you know, we've seen so many field goals being missed. Yeah, it's absolutely. Tough. Or we could get blocked or a bad snap. I was I was kind of mixed on it, but on the other hand, I was thinking, don't leave him any time. But I hey, good it for them. It worked out. It worked out in the end. Mason Crosby uh, kicked the game-winning field goal. Um, and, and, by the way, good for good for the Packers to know that they're gonna they might let you score, but do not score. Just go down. I mean, that's that's pretty good awareness, really. Yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty smart play, and uh, I think there was like a minute left, so uh, Lions definitely could have, uh, you know, driven. Yeah. So, all right, and then so Mason Crosby hits the game winner, and then you know, Gene, we were talking about Kelly Stafford earlier about how there was this uh, big story, you know, and listen, she had brain cancer, brain tumor, which is terrible, and uh, God bless her family and all that stuff. Uh, all this big two da, and they by the way they showed her on the sidelines, you know, yucking it up with a bunch of other girlfriends when Stafford is throwing the ball crazy all over the field. Right, right. Uh, how about we get some shots when he's uh, 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 on the ground in pain, writhing in pain? How about that, huh? <laughs> how, about we, how about we get both shots, huh? I thought you were going to say something nice about – she was yucking it up last night, though. Yeah. It's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I, listen, again, let's, let's do that in uh, Ford Field, okay? Let's not have the wife of the shitty quarterback <laughs> in Lambeau. I, I – Wow, you're being kind of hard Drink on her. By the way, Gene, well, this is terrible. Well, what would you rather have, a brain tumor or a CTE? Who, uh, who whose yeah. brain is going to be in better condition 20 years from now, hers or uh, Matthew? Not sure on that one. Pretty terrible. All right, so anyway, so yeah, she had brain cancer, and hopefully she's going to do well, and be, she looked okay. Uh, but then after Mason Crosby kicks the game-winning field, they show Mason Crosby's wife up in the stands, not in the stands, but in the box, Apparently she had cancer over the summer, and then had a uh, tumor, or whatever, whatever taken care of. And they, they and the uh, poor Monday Night Football announcer guy is like, yeah, yeah. And there's a shot of uh, whatever Mason Crosby's wife. Also, had, you know, it's like, uh, why didn't you spend 20 minutes talking about that before the game? Why are we talking about Kelly Stafford? Because she's the quarterback's co- wife. Because she's the, the the young blonde girl. Huh? What, what what's going on here? Yeah. Mason yeah. Crosby isn't uh, as beloved as Matthew Stafford. <laughs> so I'm just, it's just pretty embarrassing. It's like the guy who actually won the goddamn game. Oh yeah. We're going to talk about his wife for two seconds. Yeah. 
But then uh, Matthew Stafford hasn't done shit. Wow. We're, we're going to spend uh, 30 minutes on? All right. Yeah. I love the, the, I, I don't know how many Lambo leaps Mason Crosby did, but that was a good one last night, yep. wasn't it? He kicked the field goal, and he was war- raring to go. Jump up! He there. went. Right, he went right for the end zone. He probably. I mean, he probably hasn't had one for a while. Right. And even if it was a chip shot, there is so much standing around, knowing the, that they're just setting this up for you and all the pressure. And yep. Yep. Tempting with weight. All right. So uh, let's let's just uh, take a look at the NFC, NFC North here. Okay. Uh, by the way, if the Lions would have won, they would have been uh, in first place in the North. So it was a pretty big game. Now they're last place. So that's a pretty yeah. big swing. Matt Patricia might be doing a decent job then, right? Do two, two, think? and one. I, you know, I think he's a good coach. I mean, I don't, you know, his, his players are just shit. Shut up to a slow start last year because of the way he treats people and stuff. But I like the Packers. He, I like Matt LaFleur. Hey, listen, he seems cool. if you beat the Packers four times in a row, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good coach yeah, right there. I, so. Surprising, absolutely, yeah. Well, I mean, he uh, Rogers was hurt. And he did get concussed, like two of those games. So I guess it doesn't really count that much, but still, all right, because uh, he was concussed last year in the first play against the Lions. Um, all right, so Packers five and one, number one. Vikings are four and two after uh, beating the Eagles this past. Eagles, what's up? Yeah, they they got you know what Vikings they got on a pretty good roll, didn't they? Yeah, and, well. And- uh, Kirk Cousins was throwing, slinging the ball around. Yeah, that's something you don't see. And then uh, Chicago Bears were idle uh, last week, so yep, let's they let's, have the season coming up. Let's take a look at week number seven. Packers play the Raiders in Green Bay. Hey, uh, by the way, um, uh, Packers really it'd be very important to win because I think after this week. Four of their next five are on the road because they have to go to Kansas City and then they go to the Chargers. And then, yeah, they have a lot yeah. of road games coming up. So, yep. Sh- can we just move that Chargers game to uh, USC? Um, to oh my god, you're right. Yeah, hey, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm trying to get tickets here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame they have to play in a twenty-seven thousand seat stadium for the Packers. They could sell out the Coliseum. Oh, yeah. The, the... Tickets are going to be like over two hundred bucks, I bet. So um, see that. I think yes, absolutely. All right, and then uh, Vikings play the Lions on Sunday. That should be a fun game. And the Bears are playing on uh, Sunday afternoon against the Saints against Teddy Bridgewater. Are, uh, are you nervous about this game, Gene? Saints are rolling. Yeah, I I think I. You want to know Trubisky? All eyes on Trubisky this week because he's coming back. And uh, people are like, what the hell is this guy doing? It's time to start showing something. Huh. Well, Bill Simmons was uh, – I love when Bill Simmons just throws out these crazy trades in the middle of his podcast. He was talking about what, – what, how about Phillip Rivers to the Bears? Huh? Oh, my gosh. They forget the Bears don't have any number one picks. They're, <laughs> yeah, they're... what would they give them? They're not going to – I mean, it's never going to happen, but it, it would be kind of fun, right? Phil, I like Phillip yeah. Rivers. All well, right. Yeah. All right. And then uh, let's just talk about uh, San Francisco at Cleveland. This was actually the last Monday night game, uh, and we did our show before that. Uh, what's this? Bosa? What's this? Is it Joey or Steve? Or what, what Bosa? Yeah, the Bosa brothers. Nick plays for, I think it's Nick's on the Chargers and Joey's on the uh, Niners, Niners or vice right? versa. Yeah. yeah, they both went to Ohio State, and they're both amazing. Yeah, well, uh, not Nick Bosa or no Joey? I don't know. Whatever one is on the Niners. Yeah, one of them. Not a fan of uh, Baker Mayfield. And oh, that was I think that was Joey, who was on Ohio State when uh, he did that. Yep, I was just screaming his name like Baker, Baker. You, you good? Step it up. We want a challenge. Bosa hasn't forgotten what the Buckeyes considered an act of disrespect in 2017 when after after Oklahoma's victory at Ohio State, Mayfield planted an OU flag at midfield. Yeah, I watched that game. Holding yeah. a lot of grudges, huh? Hey, that was when Mayfield could get away with it. Now when you keep throwing interceptions, it's harder to do that. Yep. Bosa said he, uh, pl- and I think he did the same thing. He planted a Niner flag in uh, Cleveland. Uh 
by the way, you play for the Niners and you're playing in Cleveland, by the way. I uh, said he planned on a flag planting gesture all week because Mayfield had it coming. They got a two year grudge from college football. There you go. And then there was a uh, whole uh, uh, dust-up with Richard Sherman saying that Baker Mayfield didn't shake his hand in the beginning of the game. Although there was video evidence proving otherwise. So what is it, Richard? Did he shake your hand or did he not shake your hand? Are you a liar or are you not a liar? You forgot about that? Just like you forgot about hiring an agent to negotiate your contract? Yeah, you're getting a crappy deal. Yeah, absolutely. A- anything else you want to deny that's on video, huh? How about the that you're friends with Kaepernick? You want to deny that too? <laughs> all right, I, I hate Richard Sherman. All right. Um, all right, Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland's not good. It's amazing. It's been, oh, my gosh, everybody was so excited, and it's been such a di- – I even – it's just been such a disappointment, really. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do, and it, I don't know what they're gonna do. If Baker's not good, they're screwed. He's got uh, weight. He's good. He's just he's not getting protected. He's gonna shit beat out of him. So throwing a lot of interceptions as well. Yeah. All right, we already talked about the. Uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, Major League Baseball playoffs really quick, Gene. Yeah. You know, I don't really care about this, but uh, the Cardinals are still in it. We'll talk about the yeah. the previous series here in a second. Yeah. So, I, I'm I'm actually good. It's too painful when that Cardinal. I don't want to see him. Yeah. Yeah. So Cardinals uh, got to Game Five against the uh, Braves, and oh uh, on the Game Five, they actually blew the game wide open by getting ten runs in the first oh. inning. Yeah, I saw that first inning. That was shocking. That must have oh. felt good. You get ten runs in the first inning on your Game Five. So uh, some kerfuffle. Uh, though during the Braves series, the uh, there was a uh, relief pitcher from the Cardinals pitching, apparently Native American, got some Native, got one sixteenth of drop of blood Cherokee, I guess, or something. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, the Braves uh, fans did the uh, tomahawk chop thing, and a uh, little little insensitive, little insensitive, I think. Yeah, and absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you what, Gene. Well, yeah, I mean, do we do we need to do a DNA test on every pitcher on the mound before we uh, do some chants? Uh, that, that's yeah, well, that's the world we're coming to, right? Yeah. And by the way, yeah. in like in a, in, in five hundred years, when we're all like kind of this gray amalgamation of uh, races, and everyone's uh, got equal parts, of, we can't do anything. We're only doing the wave. <laughs> yeah. Is that the future that we want, people? I don't think so. We got to turn this around. Yeah. We're way too politically correct. We're way too. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what, Gene, I've, you know, I've said this before, you know, a tomahawk chant, who cares, right? But yeah. uh, when your team is getting beat by the Braves, it's very, very racist, okay? It's very, very racist. So it just let's get rid of it, huh? Yeah. Only when your team's losing to the Braves. So that that's the that's the racist part. All right. So Cardinals uh, got to the NLCS, and they're getting plummeted, pummeled. <laughs> Beat up by, by the Nationals, 3-0 now, including last night's win. Yeah, yeah. And and the Cardinals have home field. They're the, yeah, home field favorites. But, boy, they – they, it's kind of good. I, I, I'm kind of relieved because it would be tough if the Cardinals won again. Yeah, I would that not want to see that. Insane. Well, game one in St. Louis, they were almost no hits. There was like a no-hitter until the eighth inning. Yeah. Uh, but there, there was a – Martinez uh, got one hit. There you go. That's good. Uh, game game two, almost the exact same thing. No hit until like the seventh or eighth inning. They actually did score one run and get three hits. So there you go. Good job. Yeah. And uh, game three last night, eight to one. Washington beat them. Got seven hits, Gene. So moving right. moving on up. Yep. One run. Two runs in uh, three games, so, uh, you know. And then uh, game f- four is tonight. So let's just just let's just let's sweep the Cardinals. Let's get them out of the, my life. Let's get yeah, this done. That, that's, what I, that's what I say, yeah. All right, and then the Nationals. Man, the Nationals are looking pretty good. Be, by the way, beat the Dodgers. Sweat yeah, the Dodgers, but, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not even a Dodgers fan, but we live in L.A., and that wasn't that kind of sad? 
Game five of the Dodgers. Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty pathetic. Well, and you know what? Dodgers, this is seven years in a row where they've had a great team, won the division, and nothing to show for it. Man, if they don't win a World Series, this could be it, – it'd have to be the most well, disappointing – stretch ever wouldn't it i don't know oh, who cares about the dodgers but i don't know what dave robinson's contract is but uh you gotta think he's gonna be gone right this year oh, well they, they said they're gonna keep him, so i don't know that well that was tough when managing. you when you bring in kershaw like in the in, in the uh second half of the game for relief pitching the guy who has a terrible playoff record and yeah. uh sucks in the playoffs in these high pressure situations he prom- pr- promptly gives up two runs and the lead yeah probably not the best decision to make oh my gosh probably not i me. mean you're shot i you gotta feel bad for that guy right yeah uh, i mean he's 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 got over 100 million dollars bunch of blonde yeah. kids beautiful I give, wife i get some of the money back and be a world Se- and win the world <laughs> series that. yeah yeah all right, and then uh, just really quick, since we're talking about the Cards versus the Nats, uh, the, uh, the the Army Navy Country Club in Arlington, Virginia, confirmed on Monday that Cardinals pitching coach Mike Maddox had oh. two two holes in one at the course today. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, this was yesterday. The odds of doing that in the same round have been calculated at sixty six sixty seven million to one. Wow. So, uh, pitching coach uh, for the Cardinals, Mike Maddox, two holes in one. Uh, hey, uh, Mike, how about we uh, look at uh, uh, hot, hot, cold, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> boxes, huh? Hit boxes, huh? How about that? How about, how about you pay attention to your pitchers because uh, they're kind of struggling a little bit. You're, you're out golfing, getting holes in one. Maybe we should worry about, uh, you know, fastball, you know, curveball. How about we worry about that, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Not good. Not yep. good. Jim, what if uh, Joe Madden was uh, out golfing the day before uh, Game 7 of the World Series? Yeah. Well, well that... could have. The weather was nice. Yeah, I guess I'd be disappointed, sure. Rally the troops. I got two holes in one, guys. Just just like, guys, just like uh, me today, earlier, I, I want you guys to, uh, you know, swing that bat, hit that ball. Yeah. They're like, okay, coach. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, well, Gene, that's all I got. Uh, for this week, it's gonna be a hey, short show. Uh, by the way, uh, it's been the people in the Midwest are just amazing. I love, I love coming back here. Even though it's a little cold, a little chilly, but it's been great. And uh, I don't know, just people back here are great. So thank well, you. It's, it's nice to be back in the real America, right? I think that's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I you if you go if you go somewhere. See, you're you're going 15 miles away. It's always the same amount of time. You get there in 15 minutes. <laughs> it's not like LA where it can be a two-hour trip. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's so great just being yeah that being part free, of it. free. Yeah, and and it, here's another great thing. So we're driving to Iowa City, and uh, we're on like a, this one one lane road, and you get you get stuck behind a tractor, and that's just life for a while. You're being you're driving yeah. behind a tractor. To turn on the radio. Turn on the radio. Listen to a little NPR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, Gene, since you are in Iowa and you got the pulse of the state, and Iowa, of course, is going to be a pretty important state for the election. Yeah, uh, I know. I know your your mom's pretty liberal. She voted for uh, Hillary. But uh, what what is the general consensus of the Iowans? You know what? While we're doing this podcast, I saw something I've never seen in L.A. There was a guy, older guy. Uh, walk by me wearing a sweatshirt, a Trump sweatshirt. Oh wow! Yeah, I I don't know because Iowa is one of those states. They voted for Obama both times, but they did vote for Trump. And I I I right now I would say they probably do it again. I don't know. What about the farmers? Aren't the farmers are getting these checks from the uh, government for uh, not having anything to sell? Yeah, they can't be happy about that. Yeah, I know. I just I don't know. I don't know. Mm. No. Farmers are so important here. I don't know. Well, Iowa, Wisconsin, uh, those are Nebraska. They all kind of didn't go Hillary's way, so we'll see. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's going to be an office then. All right. All right. We'll see what happens. Well, Gene, we don't want to get banned in China, so we will right. uh, We'll get off. Yeah. Good job, LeBron. Way to take a stand. Oh, yeah, those LeBron. Guys. Jeez. Man.
Way to wait it. Yeah. I, right. I, I love all this, uh, you know, uh, you know, hands up, you know, all this stuff, uh, you know, police brutality. We got protests and stuff like that. Right. Uh, right. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's a bunch of Chinese people across the uh, world. Ah, uh, you know what? It's all right. Just let let the authorities yeah, t- handle it. That's marketing. That's that. You're hey. That's a great point because all these protests here, they say, well, Black Lives Matter. Yes, absolutely. Then here's a chance to take a stand on something huge, not like, uh, right. And not- well, it, it, it's Black Lives, not not Chinese Lives Matter. That that let's get that straight. Okay, it's Black Lives, not Chinese, not Chinese. Yeah. Screw yeah, them. Good. Screw them. All right. All right. Well, Gene, uh, I, you, we a little political discourse on the show. I think that's important. Oh, my gosh. There's yeah. more to uh, life than sports. Shout out to West Dubuque High School, where I am here, number one in the state in football. So. <laughs> All right. Are you just reading the sign? Farm kids. They're they're out uh, in the farmland, West Dubuque. They're plowing the fields. Oh, yeah. Farm kids. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene. I think we'll uh, end it right there. I need to uh, get ready for work. Good job tonight, buddy. Getting the Packers win. All right, that was well, awesome. Good All right. So uh, for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotz, and it's been the Midwest Sports Show. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you all.